In today's video, I'm going to show you how to render a video in Adobe Premiere that includes its alpha channel. All right, so uh, to start this off, we have a few things in place. We have a background image and we have a lower thirds that we created, which has a little swoop animation that comes in and a swoop animation that goes out. Now, optimally, I want the lower thirds to be in an alpha channel where I can literally just drag a little video clip in and it'll just go over the video. I don't have to put any effects, something I can reuse, something I use a lot. I want to have it in a templated form so I can reuse it whenever I want. Like so. Now, normally when I try to render this out, what I'll get is I'll get this, but it'll be a black background and it won't be alpha. What some people will do is they'll put a green color and then key it out. You don't have to do that. You can render a video clip in Adobe with an alpha channel intact. Now, if you're using Adobe Premiere Pro CS6 or below, you will need to install this QuickTime, the QuickTime player. I will put a link for it in the video description. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to download it, install it, and then restart Adobe Premiere. If you're using Creative Cloud, you don't have to do any of that. You're good to go as it stands. So let's begin. All right, so the first thing I'm going to want to do is I'm going to want to hide my background layer. I don't need this tree scene in my render. I just want what's on top. My lower thirds fade in, fade out. There you go. All right, so I'm going to go to File. I'm going to go to Export Media. Then I'm going to want to make sure QuickTime is selected. I'm going to scroll down here and I'm going to want to make sure I have the animation preset selected. And you can see there's a bunch of options, but what we want here is animation. And I'm going to want to make sure the bit depth is on 32 bit. Now, if you're using Creative Cloud, what you're actually going to see is something slightly different. Uh, with Creative Cloud version, um, you're going to see a 8 bit render and an 8-bit render with alpha. You're going to want to check that instead of the 32-bit. All right, so that should be good there. Um, we don't want to render audio, but it doesn't look like we have a choice right now, so whatever. It doesn't matter. So we'll choose a file. Alpha test 4, because I had uh, three of the tests. Okay, we got animation set, quick time, 32-bit rate, uh, bit depth. Um, we should be good to go, except for this. I'll just render it to about right there. That should be good. Okay. And export. All right. So it exported. Let's actually import it back in and see what happened. Alpha test four. Bring it into our timeline. It has an audio track because it is what it is. Okay, and then we'll turn on this, turn off my original, or rather move my original. And now we have an MOV file perfectly with an alpha that I can reuse for various projects. Not just that, I believe this will also work in things like OBS. Let's actually give that a try. Hi. Let's give it a shot. Media source. I actually don't know if this is going to work. Browse. Alpha test four. Um, sure. There you go. It does work. Create a little uh, animated whatever you want. Render it as an MOV file. And um, you should be good. Now you have an alpha image or sequence that can look pretty on your background or your video clips or whatever anyway guys hopefully this video was helpful and as always if you like this video make sure to like comment and subscribe see you later